in the previous uh, video discussion on the strain gauge type 4 sensors, we described how the output from a full bridge, right, strain gauge sensor, this change in voltage when you apply a load and, and do strain on, on this full bridge type configuration, that this change in voltage is still kind of small in the millivolt range. There's, a, there's an input voltage here. Sometimes these sensors are characterized in millivolts per volt this way. And you should be able to see that that basically is calculated by the gauge factor um, and the amount of um, um, strain that you have. So, and remember that strain is for a given load. Um, go back and look at that third video. Now we just want to, I just want to show you a typical type of amplifier that you can use to connect here, you know, on, on the, on the output side of that bridge. So what we're talking about now is the, the need for this amplifier, again, because that output is pretty small. And here's the one type of amplifier. There's many types of, of amplifiers. This is an instrumentation amplifier that's made by um, Omega. You can find this on Omega.com. Here's the serial number. Again, many different types. You can build one out of an op amp and so on. You don't need to have this. The nice thing about this amplifier is it has a lot of different adjustments. Uh, it shows the, the, the input here is the input from from the full bridge. So let's say again, I'll draw, sketch that full bridge again. Here's the output. Here's the input. Right? Um, so the input here is going to be what is shown here as the, the B to B. It's the, the excitation. So like you connect that on, on the second and the fourth pins. And then the output here is, is designated right by actually the input to the amplifier so this these these pins are named plus in and it's kind of confusing minus in that's the inputs to the amplifier is going to be the output of your bridge so you'd connect these output of your of your bridge configuration into this eight and nine pin in this case and then the output is taken off of this amplifier off the 10 and 11 pins which are right here okay The inside of this guy has an instrumentation amplifier. There's also a nice low pass filter. The the this uses AC power. You have to connect this to uh, to an outlet, and it, it actually this provides the power for the uh, for the bridge. And here's a, so it's got an internal power supply, and then here's the output is shown. Right. So the key is that this is a really nice instrumentation amplifier. Right. There's a op amp type amplifier in there, and a nice low pass filter. The W here, WB here means wide band. It's, I think this this thing has a, you can adjust this filter, but it's got a pretty wide frequency range. And that's all. Again, you can look up many different, other different types of amplifiers. Uh, this is one that I really like to use and uh, the one that you'll be using in the lab.